Today, I'll be eating at the worst rated restaurants in London. However, not only that, these restaurants have been rated zero by the hygiene scale. That means the government has said they're not safe to eat at, which means they also might get shut down. So, <laughs> will I get food poisoning? Keep watching to find out. Let's go. That's right, guys. Today, I am visiting five of the worst hygiene rated restaurants in London. From tangy tasting burgers to uncovering a fake bakery, all ending with a sit down meal at a place one review said, please read this review and consider it a warning. Anyways, let's crack on with the video. The journey begins. The first zero rated food stop awaits. And uh, yeah, let's just hope we don't get food poisoned today. It might be a possibility. I'm gonna try and eat smart, but you never know. We're in the car again. We're driving through London. And yeah, let's just get this show on the road, baby. Give me some dirty food. Give me some poorly made food. Mm. Okay, I'm being weird. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Going to the first place, which is called Tubby's, which is what I'm gonna be after I've eaten their food. <laughs> I'm already Tubby though, so I guess, if, yeah, if I do nothing, I'll be. Tubby. These reviews are nuts. So they shout at their customers, don't give eye contact, and it all feels sad that it's about our money and not our custom. Eye contact, I don't care if you give me eye contact. Well, I mean, it's nice to do that, but like, I'm not gonna re write a review about it if you don't. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to sleep with the person who makes the food. All right, here we go, on the way to Tubby's right now. Tubby's, not to be confused with Telly Tubby's, or if they've got like a Tinky Winky burger, I'll be eating that. Whoa, oh, look at the bike. Say a prayer for the bike. Oh, here we are, okay, Tubby's Charcoal Grill. The reviewer said this restaurant had rude staff, airs and burgers, and bad kebabs. Perfect. Thank you very much, take care. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Yeah, it looked all right in there, you know? Yeah. It didn't look too bad. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Oh no, oh no. Initial thoughts, that looked like a regular, average kebab shop. Didn't look too dirty to me, didn't look bad. I mean, I'm the new inspector, I'm Inspector Morse. Inspector Gadget. But uh, to me, I mean, listen, if I have food poisoning and start dying, I will update you guys with that, you know, in due course. But to me, it looked fine. The guy was nice, they were smart, they were, they were polite, the kebabs looked clean. What did the guy say? The meat tastes like rubber. The burger was just like, they found a hair in it. Maybe lift up the bun so if you find a hair in it. Here's how it looks, it looks fine to That's me. That's yummy. Fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, tastes good actually. I would eat this. Right, I mean, I am. <laughs> Kebab on the way. He actually, also, he saved me. He said, what sauce do you want? I was like, oh, chili, sweet chili. He was like, oh. Not sweet, it's hot, you know? And I don't like hot food. I mean, listen, kebabs never look good anyway. I probably should put some lettuce on this. That looks great in my opinion. Kyle's getting closer and closer. <laughs> <laughs> do you want some? <laughs> look at this big boy. This big string of it. Ram that down your throat, Randy. Huh? Okay, this is good. It's, it's just a kebab, you know? It's, it's kebab. So the government have given this a zero on the hygiene scale. So I'll give it my own Randy hygiene scale rating throughout the video. I will say five being the best, yeah. zero being the worst. I'm gonna give it a three yeah. on the hygiene scale because I don't know what the other ones are like yet and maybe that score will change as we compare the rest. It looked clean to me. It looked like a normal kebab place. Not the cleanest, but like, you know, <clears throat> although I'm starting to <clears throat> get a tickle in my throat now. <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Mm. Okay, a number of meat sweats later, and we are on the way to the next destination. The place we're going next is called Cakes and Bakes Original. Cakes and Bakes Original Forest Gate. Yeah, and all the reviews are saying that, like, what the hell? I thought this was Cakes and Bakes, but it's not. I'll find out if this place is getting one star reviews because it's a copy or if it's because the food's bad. Because if the food's good, then copy away, my friend. You know, make it better. You know, if you, if you want to call yourself McDonald's instead of McDonald's, do it, but do it better than McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? Cakes and Bakes. You know what, that looks good, man. Here we are, Cakes and Bakes. We are here, we are live, we are direct. As you can see, Cakes and Bakes, next to Ladbrokes. Let's do this, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Apparently, Cakes and Bakes have got stale cake, unhelpful staff, and apparently, bad Sundays. I get a birthday cake. I don't know why it's my birthday, but I could always, yeah. I'm an adult. I'm 29 years old, if I want a birthday right now, I can have a birthday. Appreciate it, man, thank you, take care. Never, never. I got a cake slice, and I got a Sunday. I can't lie though, this place looks fine. That was great. I don't know what everyone's complaining about. It looks clean, it looks fine. I got a, yeah, I'm happy. Wait, what even is that? That looks it's a Sunday. mad. Yeah, or you're a Sunday, mate. Come on. That's good, man. I have no idea why it's a zero on the hygiene scale. It can't be. There's a full-on fight going on over there, behind the bin. Oh wow, yeah, there's a fight going on. Cool, man. We won't film it, but there actually genuinely is a whole fight. A guy and two girls. Oh, she's pushing him, she's hitting him. Oh my God, she's kicking him. You know what, let's eat this and get out of here. Yeah, that's, bro, I wanna bounce, I'm scared. Let's you bounce, don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> You brought us here, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. Chocolate triple slice. This looks biat. It's a new word. Wow. I just pick it up. <laughs> I don't know why I picked it up. <laughs> you know what? Cakes and bakes. Whoever rated this bad, shame on you. It's a good rated restaurant, a good rated cakery, bakery. I give it. On the cleanly scale, I give it a five, man. This is spotless, yeah. All right. On to the next one. Why did that get a zero rating? I don't know. It probably is the back, though. Yeah. The back is probably like just 
rats and shit. <laughs> but I can't taste the rats. So. But what does the food hygiene rating actually mean? Well, let me quickly explain. The UK government carries out inspections at all restaurants and takeaways, scoring their ability to hygienically handle food, the physical condition of the business, and how the business manages its food. Five being the highest score, meaning they are close to perfect, and well, zero, meaning if they don't get their act sorted, they will be shut down. Trust me, daddy. Next up is Chicago 30, is what it's called. So I'm gonna assume this is like a pizza place or like, I don't know, Italian, maybe pasta. What are you, what are you saying, Carl? It is a pizza shop. I brought a pizza of nine inches and it is smaller than nine inches, Randy. Who measures? What's well, so nine inches is huge. Nine inches is massive, by the way. That's so big, it's, it's way too big. So the rules for this one should be, you have to order a pizza of, of nine inch and you have to make sure it's nine inches <laughs> by any means possible. Okay, okay. Bike driving needed, Cal. I'm just saying, if these videos don't work out, leave a like on this video so Cal doesn't have to come be a bike driver here. Support Cal. Cheers, mate. <laughs> no worries. Chicago 30. Bad pizzas, unclean seats, and extremely slow service. Okay, here we go. Nine inch pizza. 450. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank you, I'll be waiting here. Real quick, I just posted a photo of Cal in my Kofi Randolph membership club. Link in the description if you want to check it out. But no, we're here now in Chicago 30. I'm, really, I'm enjoying the interior of this place. It looks very, it doesn't look great to be honest, but it looks as standard as all the, you know, pizza, chicken shops do in, in the UK and London. I think people are too picky, man. I can't be that, I'll be, I'll be honest. Although, maybe the government aren't. I'm sure they've got a reason to rate these places low. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, we got flexed on, we got fucking, we got flexed on. Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> because you guys are idiots, just climb over, man. I'm gonna intro this as a typical YouTuber, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be trying another restaurant rated zero by the hygiene scale in England. Oh my gosh, we have mayo. Mm -hmm. We have ketchup. Mm -hmm. Who puts ketchup on pizza? Do you? I bet, I bet you do. No, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? You had no. ketchup with nuggets, right? We had no sauce. Yeah, no, ketchup with nuggets is normal. No, it's not. Again, that place wasn't bad. It was dirty in the rest. The seats felt like school chairs. That's, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> Cal's gonna get on the computer. <laughs> Fucking seats felt like school chairs. <laughs> Avoid <laughs> at all costs. It's good. It's pretty good. Is, at this point though, like I, I can see that's cooked. That's not, it, what did the reviewers want? You know, what else do they want? And what, yeah. what, what did the government want, man? What does a five place look like? What does a five star look like? Leave a like on this video, guys. We'll go to the restaurants rated five on the hygiene scale. Okay, ready? Ow. You know what? That is just a lovely pizza. That is really good. But by the way, that place was popping. There was like six people in there. I saw people walking out of there with, with the same box as this. Mm, 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 mm. My rating out of five for this place, I'm gonna give it, you know, I'm gonna give it a two. Cause I'm gonna compare it to the first place we went to, Tubby's. Tubby's like, that looked pretty spotless, right? But this one had crumbs on the floor, had crumbs on the, like, the little arm resting where I was sat. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a two for that. But the food was good though. The pizza was banging. The pizza was absolutely banging. I love that. We've been eating fast food for the entirety of this video. And next up, we are going to a place called fast food. I kid you not, it's literally called fast food. Like imagine being in that meeting, man. Like, okay, new business. What do we call it? Do we call it, you know, Chicago 30? Do we call it? More Monleys, Morleys, what, what do we call it? KFD? What's that? Kentucky Fried Dick. <laughs> um, I've got an idea. Let's call it fast food. I rate it though. It does what it says on the tin, but we're going to try it out. What, what's, what's special about this place? Bro, these reviews were wild. Really? By far the worst place to get food. It's just not true though. It's just not going to be true. It's not going to be by far the worst place to get food. These reviews need a kick in the face, man. They did do well. They have attached a picture and it doesn't look Amazing, mate. Okay, we're gonna order chips. Give me another review. What, what else is it bad? First time in my life I couldn't eat even a quarter of the burger. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, they said it's sour. What, beef is sour? Yeah. Kinda sour. Hoping I don't get a stomach ache from this. <laughs> what is a stomach ache? <laughs> Fast food. Burgers, donut kebabs, fried chicken. This place apparently has sour burgers, crap fries, and no condiments. What? Sour I'll try that, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. And we've got the chili sauce. Okay, that was good, man. Thank you. Oh, I said mayo, I'll get you a bit of mayo. I like mayo with chips. Thank you. Cheers, appreciate it. Yeah, enjoy it yeah. Thank you, have a good one. Take care, take care. This is the funniest thing. So, we just we've ordered food, you know, quarter pounder and chips, like the review said as well. And look, this is just a four, four out of five. This is not even part of the video, technically. We've just gone to get some good food. Well, we're going to check that when we get home. Check it, but, but, but look, you can't not put a sticker on there. That's illegal to do that, right? They're not breaking the law. But yeah, interesting, interesting. Dude! Okay. New review coming soon. Ah. Uh, so maybe 
Mm -hmm. They've changed it around. So eat it from a four out of five rated restaurant there, man. I wonder what they did to improve it. Got rid of the rats. <laughs> yeah. Here's a quarter pounder. Ah, oh, it's hot. It's piping hot. What did they say? It tastes like sour. This is, uh, the, sour. The review said sour. Okay. It's good. Any sour notes? No. Well, I actually, actually do taste a bit of sourness, but I, I think I have some sweet and sour sauce on it. Can we go again? This is good, though. This is good, man. This is, I, this is actually, by the way, earlier, the one that I had has not got an inch on this. Does that make sense? Yeah. It, this is way better. I would eat, like, bro, fast food on Lehman Street in London, guys. Check it out. Four out of five on the cleanliness scale. I'll give it a five out of five today. This is good munch, man. Good food. Oh, I hate the word munch. Good food, though. Let's go. Right, you ready for the final place? Yeah, I mean, we're in standstill traffic right now. We ain't moving anywhere. So, yeah, you might as well just hit me with these reviews. This review is all capitals, and uh -huh. it says, please read this review and consider this a warning. Please do not come here. I have had the most severe food poisoning after eating at this, and they put in, like, commas, restaurant. Oh, no. This review also mentions the hygiene rating. It is run down and very dirty. There is a reason they have a one star food hygiene rating. Now it's zero star. It's gone down. The one we just went to went up. Yeah. This one's gone down. Wait, so and this is a sit down one you said? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go in there and have a meal together. Again. Candle it, dinner. Okay. Are you gonna eat this one? Nah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not trying to get food poisoning. Neither am I, man. I don't want food poisoning either. <laughs> Sushi and Thai Express. And guys, we've made it to our final restaurant. The reviews for this one are bad. Literal food poisoning, getting scammed, and an unclean restaurant. Sushi, yeah, sure. Sure, sure, thank you, thank you. I think I'm shaking. You got, you got me shaking now. You should ask what the chef for like oh, sure, sure, okay. <laughs> what does the chef call? Oh, okay. I just don't know how to order. Are you haven't stared at me long enough, please let me order. I could just stay here all day. 7pm, <laughs> I'm just waiting. Like Cal's putting overtime in today. <laughs> yeah, can I, can I order, yeah? What do you recommend? Okay, I'll try prawn tempura crunch. Spicy, yeah? No. Oh, sure, okay, that's fine. Sure, that's fine, that's fine, yeah, that's fine. Prawn toast is good? I'll try, yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Sure, sure. Simple order. Prawn toast seems safe enough, right? Right? <laughs> Thank you. Sick, man. Thanks. Yep, yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll try sushi first. Oh. Pretty good. Mm. Pretty banging. I've had Uber Eats worse than that before. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, this is a good one. Okay, okay. Good. No. That's not as good. This is good, but it's not as good. He put that in the microwave as well. Just microwave it. It's not a problem, but mm, okay. he's gonna ask me if it's good or not. <laughs> I had your food, yeah, it's great. This is not good. So it's not good. This is okay. It's just actually really nice. But I'm just worried, you know. So um, I guess all in all, not bad, not too bad. All right, so that was pretty good, you know. The sushi was actually really nice. I like that. The sushi was good. Whether it will be later, I'm not sure. The, the prawn toast was really bad, though. I, I saw him just put it into a microwave. He like, picked it out of a fridge that was in the middle of the restaurant, took it around the back to where I could see it and just whacked it in the microwave. So I feel like that's some, like, as the price or like some Iceland, like, you know, which is okay. It's not bad to do that, I don't think, is it? Gordon Ramsay probably would disagree, but. The sushi was good. However, if you, I'm not sure if you can hear it on the clip of the people next to us. They get, they, she was waiting for ages for like, a takeaway. What is the takeaway? You guys have that takeaway. Yeah, that was hard to tell what rating I would give it. But you know what? I'm going to say it's not as bad as... <clears throat> it's not as bad as it sounded on the review. So... Well, as, as far as you know right now. Yeah, as far as I know right now. Like, and I guess that's why these like, inspections are so important as well. Because like, on the surface, they look fine. These week... Oh, no, sorry. On the surface, it looks fine, but you never know, right? All right, final rating for me on that one, I would say it was a nice vibe. I was enjoying the music. You know, the guy was friendly, by the way. The guy was really friendly. He didn't try and oversell me. The only thing he did was try and charge me a pound extra for the spicy, but like, I could have said no. Uh, I, th I think I did say no, but like, <laughs> he still gave me the spicy anyway. <laughs> but, um, I'd probably give it a three out of five, honestly. Like, yeah. Better than Chicago 30. Should I give you that a two? Two. What I could see was clean, you know? With Chicago 30, there's like, actually like crumbs on the floor and like dirt on the floor, but like, this one seemed... But that's probably where they get you. Where it seems the most clean, it's the most actually mean. There you go, that's free.
free one. So there we have it guys, Randy's official ratings of the restaurants. Despite Chicago 30 being at the bottom, it's my favorite. So do what you want with this information and I'll see you all in the next one.